but yeah, we source pigment. So we've been in the industry um, for quite a bit of time. Um, powder Mom. pigments, Fantasia, you know, different companies like that. Cool. Mom pigments. Okay. Thank you. Yes, sir. My site. Okay. I was just going to ask you if you had heard of raw pigments. Uh-uh. I haven't. I'm yeah, always on um, the lookout so, for this stuff, especially black and gray stuff. So. Yeah, we, we specialize in color development, and that's a, a big thing I've learned um, since living Empire because I was just blacks. Mm -hmm. So um, color development comes into play when you're talking about the phases of that the pigment goes through in order to get that final product. It's not just mm -hmm. a you know a high speed mix. It, you know, formulations change, everything changes. So I've gotten a a really good um, manufacturing uh, education in the last several months with color cool. seeing, well, seeing the differences and how it plays out so Lauren, um what do you what uh like i'm interested because uh like we were jay you were there we we're talking with guy and he was mentioning about how the united states are going to be step like put putting their two cents in on what we can get for pigment yeah um, they are wow this is um something that i'd actually um i think i'm going to be hosting a, a business meeting on March 16th, I believe it was with, uh, with all of us talking about stuff like that with business owners around the world. Cause like Jason and I have found you could go on forever. Uh, what's happening in Europe is, is very serious and it's, um, it's been happening for a long time over a decade, but what you're seeing now is, um, they, they won't even look at any blue and green pigments, you know, for CTL licensing, they are phasing out the use of these colors by 2023. Those colors aren't the phthalo blue and the phthalo green can't be used. Um, but us, uh, a, a nice thing that we've been doing quite a bit of research in is to sourcing other pigments and having them tested. Um, it's a it's a long process. We found um, a handful of alternatives. It's not that phthalo blue, phthalo green, but um, but yeah. When um, if you hear Mario or p different sources talk about it, there's a big meeting in 2018 in Switzerland. Um, with a bunch of different people, um, scientists, chemists, you know, CTS was there and stuff like that. Uh, but the FDA was also there from the United States. So uh, I guess it could be speculation, but they may adopt those European policies. Oh, man. But nothing, I mean, right now the FDA is, like their GMP is, if you're, if you're a company and you're not following that GMP, then you should probably want to take another look at yourself because for safety of your, your artists, you know, that's number one, but there's no FDA regulation really right now. Um, yeah, so well, yeah. Back in the day, they used to have arsenic. <laughs> I, won't, I won't name the terrible. company, but terrible. Uh, no, they had heavy metals in some of them. Um, in fact, I still have some of it in my leg. Um, oh, wow. Yeah. I'm sure you're not the only one. Yeah. Well, I guarantee I'm not. Um, I but don't yeah, the... you got to, I mean, with with the, with the it, you know what, like you said, there's not, there hasn't really been any anyone regulating, um, like our biz, our industry at all. But if you look at the 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 quality of tattooing where it's come, that's self driven. That's driven yeah. by, you know what I mean. That's we didn't have to get better. We got better. We wanted better products for our customers or like our clients, um, which dr drove you know. Ink, ink from manufacturers to use, uh, you know, more better products, better you know, supplies. Yeah. And so. the thing is, is that you guys all like just in the room right now, you have I mean, thousands of, you know, actual studies of using this where you're seeing how it goes in, how it heals, how it reacts. Yeah. And mm -hmm. you're not seeing those problems that they're, they're addressing. So it's, um, I guess it's alarming and concerning at one point, you know, if you spoke to guy, we, <laughs> Gabe guy and I last week, we were almost ready to stand up and uh, alert the masses because there, there is some alarming stuff happening in the US, um, you know, behind the scenes. I am all for regulation, but I'm not for the type of regulation that changes or that doesn't preserve um, what we have right now, you know, in the industry, if it, yeah. if it means taking out pigments that maybe shouldn't be taken out or, you know, uh, yeah, changing formulas. <laughs> sure. Like if you look at uh, a great case study in Brazil, has, I mean, I'm, I don't know if any of you have heard of how difficult it is to get any pigment that's not electric ink into Brazil. I've heard about, I've, I've talked to some people online about stuff like that. Yeah, it's a different, to, um, yeah, it's, it has to be, it has to have a certain type of composition. Yeah. You know, to be approved by their, and says the FDA of Brazil. That's fucking nuts. 
so yeah, I would hate to see something like that happen here where um, it has any negative impact on some of the smaller companies that are really, you know, they don't want to be a huge company or this is what they love and maybe people can't use that anymore. Dude, that blood, that blood pigment looks freaking, that's the color I'm, I'm digging out there. Yeah, I was talking to Jake on the stream when he was on and um, if you guys had a liquid sample at any point, you could send it to me and we can make a, a match. You know, that's stuff like that is our forte. Nice. I don't want to get too side from the point from your guys' drawing. I, <laughs> I could talk forever. Well, you're passionate about it, so that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like I said, join us for that um, that Zoom on March 16th. We'll make some more info on it. Cool. Probably like March 16th. And stuff. Yeah. We'll do that. Under that shit. Well, I'm going to write that down on my calendar, but I got to take off, guys. My appointment's going to be here pretty soon, so. Awesome. March 16th. Nice yeah, to meet March you guys. 16th. We'll put it in the app, in the events. Oh, okay. All right. Take it easy, y'all. Take care, bud. Yeah, yeah. actually, I got to pop out. Oh, I'm supposed to be out by 11 o'clock. It is 11, so. Um, yeah, we can. Um, yeah, if you guys are ready to wrap up, we can get, get to that and check out your yeah. drawing progress before we go. Yeah, Jay, I want, you, I want you to sympathize for me, buddy. This is due tomorrow. Oh, uh, yeah. Full sleeve, concept yep. design. This is the only thing she wants to keep, like in its original. I'm going to change a little bit, like, you know, but I'll keep the. She really wants the woman it not, not like touched. Um, so I'm going to keep, uh, switch these up a little bit. Um, and then the flow of the rest. Yeah, I have this till tomorrow. I had, <laughs> I was given it last Thursday, but I've been like all weekend, man. I had to spend some time with the family. I mean, it's been like, aside from working, I mean, I, work and then it was back to the house you know sometimes yeah. i sometimes i'm spending too much time working in up at the, the garage welding and cutting and working on cars and i'll get spent that's time. the life of an artist right yeah well if i'm sitting home i feel like i'm uh, um like about i'm up at 6 a.m if i'm up at 8 a.m i felt like i just got robbed in my day right you know, but if I'm sitting at the house, I'm literally going nuts. I have to be doing something. So that's awesome. Now, now, Eric, real quick before you go, are you a um? You're an RAT subscriber, right? I don't think I am. No. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm subscribed, but I don't think I'm a paid subscriber. That's why I was wondering because my buddy JD was you know, and he goes, "Hey, how much is it?" I'm like, I haven't paid anything, but not that I wouldn't, because I mean, it's. So we can send you the info if you're interested. Um, they have really cool. I know Jason can attest and probably go on longer than I, but um, really cool subscriber exercises. Guys been adding to the Canon guest artists. Yep. There's um, the courses now. I'm not sure if they've launched it yet through the um, the online course and you know the media included, but it's super cool. Um, so a lot yeah, because I actually I have the reinventing the DVDs like the originals. Oh, and, okay. And the secondary one. And so does JD. And uh, I'm like, dude, this is, it's not quite like that. Dude, these are, these are a bunch of artists. I mean, it's, dude, it's what we've needed for a long time, dude. It is. Oh, yeah. No. Because um, I mean, for me, I'm, I'm, Jay, I don't know about you, but I mean, I'm, I've been in my own sh studios. I've, I've got spotted. I, I've worked with other artists um, briefly, but mostly I've been on my own since the start. I just, it's how I work. So I've never had that shop camaraderie where like, hey, man, look at this, you know, or um, it's just I've been driven. I, I've always looked at other people's art. I've always compared mine to them. Find out. And this was a, an exercise I learned when I was a kid is you look at something, you look at your art, you compare it to something that's way better and way worse. And then you find out what major is better and what major is worse. Right, right. And, and I, I still do that on every single one of my tattoos ever, period, hands down. Um, I did it, like, the other night. I had a, I had a big 11-inch, like, thigh piece. And I did it, and I let it leave um, before I really gave it the old, you know, 10-minute stare at. Um, and when I got home, I looked at the picture, and I'm like, what did I do with that wrist? Because it looks like the wrist is all, like, jacked up and shit in the tattoo. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. But, but thankfully, it's just a sheeting issue. I can I can soften that hard edge. You know what I mean? It looks like it's got a broken wrist bone. Um, but, you know, it, it's I I look at every single one of my tattoos 